remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? A woman who claims she was on the receiving end of a vicious slap by the baby, Tyranesha Laws, says that she's not buying his apology because she doesn't think it's sincere. Her proof? A comedic skit that the rapper did of the incident with Michael Blackson that he posted onto his social media. She spoke to TMZ about the incident. In the video, she said she woke up the next morning in pain. She said she went to the doctor. She was told she had a contusion. Furthermore, she said she's not even the one who stuck the phone in the baby's face. She said it was another woman who did that, but she was standing next to the woman and she's the one who got slapped. She said that her daughter woke up in the middle of the night screaming because she heard her on the phone talking about the incident. I don't believe her. Here's the part that I don't believe. Now, I don't know about everything else, but I don't believe she woke up the next morning in pain. Like, I guess, I guess it's possible, you know, if she got hit up you know, near the eye, you know, and something poked an eye. But pain, maybe a little irritation, but pain, I think she's trying to make sure she set it up right so she can get paid. In any event, the baby, he better be real careful. He is skating on thin ice. Underneath that ice is some very cold and deep water. I don't think he understands how serious prosecutors, politicians, judges, and police officers are about locking black males up, especially young, able-bodied black males. That's the baby. He don't understand. These people be licking their chops at stuff like this. All of this stuff about don't do crime and fighting crime, man, that's all fake. They want you to commit a crime. They want you to get out of pocket so they can handle you, so that they can control your body. He gets accused of slapping a young woman at a concert. He goes on social media and explains himself by saying he didn't know that that was a lady. As if, if it was a dude, it would have been okay. And then he starts to making fun of, of the incident by doing a skit a comedy skit. Come on, family. Just like we're watching this stuff on social media and we're chiming in on it, we're taking it in, so are those prosecutors. So are the judges. So are their family members. Because even if a judge or a prosecutor don't see it, they got family members and friends who see stuff like this. And they'll be like, well, what are you, you going to do about that baby guy? You know, he did this and that. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. He did. Well, let me see the video. Whoa, I didn't know he did all of that. He said that. Better be real careful with these folks, man. Because they'll make the baby look like the, the most violent person that has ever walked the planet just from slapping somebody. I'm not trying to minimize what he did, but I'm just saying they're going to turn him into a killer. 
I can say, look at him. He's unfit for civilization. Look at him. He's always getting into trouble. And don't think that they don't know about those other cases. Even though he, he may have beat them, it don't matter. It's still in the back of their mind. Like, this guy's getting into, into too much. Perhaps it's him. That's the way they think. You gotta be careful. As a black male in this country, you damn near have to act like you're always on parole or probation. You know how when you are on parole or probation, you seem to do everything right and stay out of trouble? You got to act like you're always being supervised. And if you make that mistake, you're going back. Because if you make that mistake, you are going back. Or you will be going for the first time. Somebody better give the baby the memo real quick. Meanwhile, he'll be writing the check. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about?